After understanding the cavity duplication runner system, cooling system and defining the parameters like the gate locations, material assignment and process setting, we will look into the analysis of that multi-cavity. So what I have to do is I have to go for the start analysis and I will run the analysis and after that I can have a log file to look into the system here that how the analysis system is carried out. So you can do the analysis and at the end you can predict the result which we are looking for. So primarily what we do that I will showcase and I will explain you. So you can do mold flow filling analysis, you can optimize the gatings, you can optimize the runner systems, you can predict fill pattern, you can predict injection pressure, you can determine clamp tonnage and also you can predict the temperatures, visualize the shear t rate, you can visualize shear stress, you can determine fiber orientation and you can predict volumetric shrinkage, you can predict sink, you can determine venting, you can avoid air traps, you can locate weld lines and also you can develop optimum ramp speed profile, you can define the cooling analysis or packing analysis for the mold flow and very very important is that you can understand also the rapage analysis and you can predict rapage, you can find cause of rapage, you can determine rapage due to orientation and you can predict the rapage due to different cooling also because as you are directly seeing a live session for solutions it will take much time because you are doing through the mesh. So I thought to explain you what exactly are the pain areas which you can address through the mold flow analysis and also you can understand rapids due to different shrinkage, you can understand mold flow gate assist analysis, you can determine optimized gas channel layout, you can predict gas penetration, you can see the gas permutation, you can predict skin core ratio established which is required for gas pressure, you can also define optimized gas pressure profile, you can refine also spillover design, you can also co-injection analysis you can do on this mold flow, you can compute skin to core ratio, you can also calculate skin core distribution and many more analysis criteria can be done which I discussed here are the key highlights which you can understand also the reduced scrap and dimensional stability, you can do the complete, uh, you can say uh, the optimization based on different strata that can be done and primarily you can say that you can do the validation and optimization of plastic parts, any type of part that may be single core or single cavity. So you can see here the analysis is running and this being computed and at another instance you are getting a computed. So it takes long long time for doing these calculations and once you get the result you can predict and generate the report which I will show at the end of this sessions as well. So during this analysis I will show what all predictions you can do in the report which I will show you. So the pressure at injection location that can be done through different megapascal which we have projected and with respect to time you can see this. You can have the bulk temperature which is the atmospheric bulk temperature with respect to which the distribution happens that can be shown here, the shear rate bulk temperature can be shown here, the frozen layer fractions and short weight percentage you can see here with respect to the percentage and the time. You can also see the average velocity during your filling and here you can see the centimeter per second from the zero till the maximum range, here is the locations of the gate and you can also see the clamping force how it is increasing and where it is reaching the maximum that can be shown here and that I will show you during the analysis finish and you can see the pressure distribution in your cavity and the complete design of the gates and runner system and you can see the shear stays at the wall locations which directly can be extracted from the analysis 
and you can see the pressure at very important switch over conditions you can see the fill time which is very very important you can see the fill time and the red durations are done at the end of the process and initially rest of the component will be taken care so zero to this time durations you can directly get and temperature at flow front you can directly find out here and time to reach ejection temperature you can directly get in second 139.9 second and bulk temperature at the end of the field you can also compare and also the frozen layer fractions at the end of the field you can find out so different parameters and factors you can compare and understand this is not only we are talking about the gate locations orientation at your core you can get orientation at the skins you can get the pressure at end of the field this is the pressure plot you can get the ram speed recommended in the x and y and this is the percentage and ram speed and this is your volume and air troughs you can get the locations of the air troughs you can get your weld line locations so these are the important parameters which you are looking during your analysis which you have to find out at any of the cases so during this uh, result calculations whatever is done that you can see during this analysis process as well this not a report is yet we are waiting for the report but still what is done here you can see this analysis is running but still the beauty of this mold flow insight is that you can see directly here the pressure the switch over you can directly get i am talking about the bulk temperature that you can see in your complete system you can see the fill time now fill time is calculated 2.655 second that you can see temperature at flow front that you can find out these are the minimum to maximum bulk temperatures that you can find out the shear rate that you can find out from all maximum to minimum range and where maximum is located that you can also find out you can see these are the fed systems pressure at injection location xy plot that you can get time to reach the ejection temperature that you can find out frozen layer fractions that you can find out the average velocity that also you can find out this is the velocity flow inside your multi core this is the centimeter per second maximum which you have now you can see analysis is completely completed so you can see anything all the parameters you can see any time you can find weld lines these are my weld lines so in any order you can see what about your shear stress at walls that you can find out you can also find the average velocity you can find the air troughs these are the air troughs so all these operations you can find out one by one let us say i need to see the fill time analysis simulation if you go to fill time and you want to generate the analysis report you can do it so if you go to the report here you have the animation which you can directly do through your file maybe i'm going for the file name aa and i will save this or maybe other desktop locations you can save it wherever you need to do it so that always can be done where you want to do i'll go for aa so here you can save your analysis report and now you can visualize the report where you have saved it so aa directly you can see your complete mold flow analysis and with the filling time and all the details will be shown here and you can see this fill analysis at the end of your report thank you